<laughs> Hello YouTube, we're doing an unboxing and review of Turing Tumble, build marble powered computers, create, discover, play. It's a pretty neat game. Just wanted to do a unboxing and show everything comes with. So there's the, uh, the, the panel for all the uh, accessories and essentially all the connectors to do the puzzles. Here's the stand. And then it comes with all the connectors and marbles uh, and detailed instructions. Uh, that's essentially everything that's inside the box. All the different color pieces, all the bearings as well for all the different connectors. And after you unbox it for the first time, you'll end up, they actually have a nice place for like all the different pieces to go in. And the book focuses on like a story for the kids. So it starts off with all the requirements, assembly instructions, and then read me first, obviously, uh, and then the adventure begins. So it goes into this whole story. And essentially, once the kids read through the story, it wants them to become as you know a systems administrator and help figure out these different puzzles to make the computer work again for whatever, you know, for whatever happened in this story. So here is the how to play. Each challenge has an objective. You create a machine that completes the objective. To start the machine, you press the start button, so on and so forth. So then each challenge gives you the set of requirements here, and then it gives you the available parts to add to what it showed you to complete the puzzle. And they just get progressively harder as the book goes on. And then there's other pieces of the story interwoven within, uh, within the puzzles as well. Then of course you complete the story and uh, even has the puzzle solutions in the back. So we had daddy assemble it to begin with. The assembly is probably the most difficult part of it. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It's really not that hard if you follow the directions, but younger kids might have a little bit of trouble assembling it. So daddy assembled it to get it all ready to go. Once it's assembled, you are ready to start playing. The story is about Aaliyah and she is sent to repair one of the Deep Space Industries communications satellites. She's going to a barren planet named ENIAC and she is the only engineer skilled enough to repair them. And she's always been fascinated by science and loves adventure. This story does mention alien life forms so I just wanted to put that note out there that it does contain that. She has a companion, R-E-N, which is a helper bot, and the story takes place taking them through fixing these uh, communication satellites. So Aaliyah's spaceship ends up crashing and they fall out of orbit, and then they're left with no navigation and no oxygen and no communication. So Aaliyah goes searching for ice on the frozen planet because she knew she could use the ship's electrolysis module to resupply her oxygen, but she only had eight hours of oxygen left, so she had to move fast. So the story talks about all different science concepts, which I thought was pretty cool. Then Aaliyah discovers a really tall, massive black building, and she's very confused because the planet is supposed to be uninhabited. When she gets inside the building, she sees millions and millions of panels stretching up as high as she could see. As she looks closer, she notices that there are small metal balls rolling across the surface of the panels and it's moving switches as gravity pulled the balls downward, which will eventually lead into the first puzzle. So then Aaliyah is trying to figure out what this all means. This massive mechanical computer system and she comes across the remains of an alien being and she decides that with this intense radiation silicone based computers couldn't function so all of this must have been their solution and she's wondering why there's balls and parts strewn all over the floor and she's guessing that the machine is broken and the alien remains that she found. That alien must have been trying to repair the machine and so she decides that she's going to try to fix it. And then that leads you into the first challenge where you're going to do challenge one with gravity. Turing Tumble is part of the Timberdoodle 6th grade curriculum kit. However, you can purchase this separately. 
My girls that have been using this are nine and 13 in fourth and eighth grades. My nine-year-old in particular really does like logic and critical thinking type puzzles and she's really enjoying this. My eighth grader has also enjoyed it, but I would say my nine-year-old has probably enjoyed it a bit more than my 13-year-old, but I think that has to do with their personalities and interests. There are 60 different challenges woven through the story. As you can see, my husband did assist the girls quite a bit. He didn't have to assist with the actual challenges, meaning they were able to figure out where the additional parts needed to go to make it work. But we did have a little bit of trouble with some of the pieces and it seemed like the stand had to be just so in order to make the balls not go crazy and just fall really fast. Overall, we've really enjoyed Turing Tumble. The girls are having a lot of fun with it and it's definitely a worthwhile investment if you have a child who really likes critical thinking and logic type activities, really gets their brains working. They have to figure out how these parts are all going to work together for the end objective and all the objectives are different so it's super fun. I will put a link down below where you can go check this out and purchase it if you're interested. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much for watching.